Konnichiwa, minasan. It's Vlogmas Day 5. <laughs> For this episode, I wanted to talk about friendliness and how Japanese... Uh, basically, how friends in Japan treat each other and the kind of behaviors that go on between friends. So, this isn't something people normally think about when they think about their own culture, right? Some people assume that uh, you treat your friends the same throughout all cultures. That is so different, it's <laughs> so wrong, like, chigao. In America, friendships tend to depend. Uh, the way you treat your friends tends to depend based on a lot of factors. Um, one of the biggest factors, I think, is gender. Whether or not you're, you're a guy or a girl. I think universally, girls tend to be closer and they're not afraid to show their feelings and they're not afraid to be really intimate with each other and they warm up to each other really quickly. That's just an observation I had. It's not a written rule or anything. So please don't go in the comments saying you're a misogynist, blah, 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 sexist, whatever, because I'm not, I'm just observations. And guys, I know in America, guys tend to really, it really depends for guys, because some guys will really want their own personal space, like their personal bubble is their own domain, do not intrude on it, and if you intrude on it, if another guy intrudes on it, they're seen as kind of weird or like, Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> like, you know? And um, I think guys, straight males in America, are really afraid of uh, being seen as non straight by other people. And I think that's one of the methods that they employ to make sure people know that they are straight male. Mm. Keep everyone out of your bubble. And of course, close guy friends can intrude on each other's personal spaces when it's for like a joke or just to be fun or you know. In Japan, I have noticed a great difference. Girls tend to be the same as girl friends who are girls in America. Close, intimate, all over each other sometimes, you know. Whereas guys tend to be a little more like that over here in Japan. Japanese uh, guys you know, if you're really good friends, you're really close friends, they'll put their arm around your neck. <laughs> the, the first time that happened to me actually was in America. I was on a conference, a Japanese American student conference, and that brings together Japanese people and American students. They're both students, Japanese students, American students. Brings them together. We live with each other for a month, basically traveling around either America or Japan. This year it was America. And we, of course, we get really close in that month. You make lots of Japanese friends and lots of other American friends. And the Japanese friends, man, when I became, I became close friends with two of them, two really close Japanese friends. And one day, one of them, <laughs> we were just walking on the street talking, you know, joking, whatever. And he just puts his arm around my neck and I was just like, I was like, what are you doing? You know? <laughs> and then I realized, I, I, I remembered back in anime that they do it all the time. And I was like, oh, this is a Japanese culture thing. <laughs> this, is, this is so weird. This is so weird. Like, American guys don't do that at all and caught me off guard. But I realized at that time that it's culture. It's the Japanese culture. It's how they do things with their friends. And I accepted it and got used to it. Pretty soon I was just like, what's up buddy? Hey! <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> really interesting aspect of friendship culture over in Japan. That guys tend to be more, um, I don't want to say touchy-feely because that implies almost a really, really too intimate feeling for me, but it's true, they tend to be more touchy-feely, they don't, you know, they don't mind people's personal space, other people's bubbles. Now, of course, they're not on the level of girls. <laughs> they're not, like, in each other's laps, braiding their hair, because <laughs> that's just, that doesn't happen. If you ever go through YouTube and see Japanese YouTubers, you'll notice, yeah, they, they tend to be a lot more open with themselves. I, I see that the male gender, male gender norms here in Japan tend to be a lot more, f I don't want to say free, a lot more flexible. 
When you compare it to American male gender norms, gender norms vary between countries. In Africa, some close friends, if they're males, will hold hands down the street, and that's normal there. I wouldn't do that because I wasn't raised that way, you know? I'm not, I'm not used to that at all. Japanese men and Japanese women, on the other hand, are raised to be, I feel like, a lot friendlier towards their friends. And actually, on that note, a lot friendlier towards everyone. But anyways, if you've noticed anything odd or different about Japanese culture and Japanese friendships compared with your own, or even American culture and American friendships compared to wherever you're from, please let me know. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know them as well, either on Twitter or in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Peace.